In this video, I'll be sharing with you the three best Polkadot projects that you have to pay attention to. Since the DeFi space on Polkadot has not yet started, it's possible that these projects are super undervalued. That's why it's in your best interest to watch until the end of the video. Following me on Twitter under at your DeFi guide. You can also share with me articles, projects that you want me to review and so on. So let's get to the big projects coming to Polkadot. So the first project that is really interesting is called Frontier. So Polkadot brings a lot of interoperability between blockchains. And I'm just going to read this. Frontier is an Ethereum substrate compatibility program that's set to be released this year. So substrate is a modular, extensible blockchain network that makes it easier to build custom blockchains and Polkadot parachains. Now this does seem pretty complicated. You can probably compare Frontier with like a Lego box with many different pieces and you can put it together, build your own custom blockchain and these parachains, which, which are very important for the Polkadot ecosystem. Basically, parachains enable different blockchains to increase the scalability because if one parachain has a lot of transactions, it can like create another parachain and other transactions can run on that other parachain. It's rather complicated, but to put it simply, all of these buzzwords mean that it runs super fast, cheap, and it makes the creation of new blockchains easy for developers. It's like a template for developers. So that's how to put it in an easy way. Frontiers uh, substrate Ethereum's compatibility layer. That means that unmodified Ethereum dApps will be able to run on Frontier. Copy paste running on Frontier. And that's fantastic because if they're running on Frontier, running on Polkadot, the fees go down and the scalability goes up. So yeah, Gavin Wood, the founder and lead developer of Polkadot said that the program was almost completely done in his end of the year blog post, adding that it will lead a major interoperability movement within the blockchain. So this is definitely a very interesting project to follow. I'll definitely be doing a more in-depth video about all of these free ones here that I found. Then we've got Moonbeam. I was looking at Moonbeam project, uh, while ago, another Ethereum compatible smart contract parachain on Polkadot. So Moonbeam is set to reach its fully functionality in 2021. So while a big part of Moonbeam's functionality relies on implementation of Frontier, the blockchain also has a set of unique features that target Ethereum developers. Again, trying to bring Ethereum developers onto the Polkadot ecosystem. So Aside from being an Ethereum machine implementation on Polkadot, so basically Moonbeam is very similar to the Ethereum virtual machine. So it basically allows Ethereum developers to run their dApps on Polkadot thanks to Moonbeam. Moonbeam is also a highly specialized layer 1.5 chain that mirrors Ethereum's web free RPC. So as you can see, these two projects are actually piggybacking on the success of Ethereum, hopefully bringing dApps onto the Polkadot blockchain increasing the scalability, reducing the fees. And this is one of the biggest pain points for the Ethereum blockchain at the moment. So the third project is Arcala. This is a project that also has been mentioned by one of my long-term subscribers, Bank Chamber. Arcala is the first stablecoin to launch natively on Polkadot, but it's much more than just a stablecoin. They're also implementing the A. They're also like a type of MakerDAO liquidity provider platform that should give liquidity to many different um, blockchains. So they will be adding the AUSD, the Akala dollar. And it's at the moment still in the testnet. So I believe many of the Polkadot DeFi apps are still in the testnet. So I'll definitely be trying out Polkadot DeFi apps as soon as it's possible when they're on the main net. So this is, this is pretty interesting. I kind of set to launch on, on, on both Kusama and Polkadot this year, as well as enable derivative and DEX trading of a USD. So the derivative space is thriving and it's possibly also going to be very lucrative on Polkadot. So if you see some derivative, derivative platforms running on and Polkadot, those are probably pretty good investments because they're going to mirror the success of 
synthetics.